Hello everybody, I'm Loquid and we're back with some more of Skyshine's Bedlam. Uh, today we're going to continue off right where we left off by resuming once again. Where we left off, we were in, we'd just gotten into the rogue AI's uh, sections called Pignon. Let's, you know what, let's go this way or try to work this way because I'm not sh I don't really like the working around and down. We're trying to get there. Trying to get there. Trying to get there so we can get done with. Move on to a new one. New map. New characters. While traveling along the road, the dozer enters some kind of thick yellow fog. It doesn't appear to be toxic, but the fog is generating some kind of powerful static that is interfering with the dozer's navigation, effectively rendering you blind. Oh, pfft. Stop and wait for it. The dozer comes to a halt. It takes an entire day to pass, but the fog eventually dispenses long enough for you to see. The sensors slowly come back online. The dozer continues along the road. Yeah, I'm going to apologize for this little dithering here on my my shoulder. My uh, shirt apparently is too close to the green that my back is, but obviously it's a white shirt, so go figure, right? Uh, okay, um, let's get these exclamation marks out of the way. While the crew explores the area, they encounter a curious duo in a large cart being towed by a Boropotamus, a big six-legged bedlam creature. One of the men is tinkering with a portable fusion reactor, while the other, smaller man, is scanning the surroundings with a fusion turret. Ooh, questionable. The tinkering man rings a bell, and the Boropotamus stops. The man hops down from the cart and approaches the crew. Great to you, travelers. Got need of fusion batteries? We have some to spare, and I could rightly use some meat to feel the grumble in this great beast. Want I go? Well, sure, we got fusion, and well, we need. Yeah, we got plenty of meat. Let's do it. Brills! The best will have a grateful. The beast will have a grateful gut, and those power cells are guaranteed not to irradiate the user for at least a few suns. <laughs> a few suns. The crew leaves the wanderer behind and returns to the dozer. Thirty th that's not not too bad. Alright. Let's see. We got ninety-six power cells. Um Yeah, let's upgrade this to maximum because we are running out of crude at a very quick rate. And what the hell? There we go. Our dozer is now 100% upgraded. Shazam! Alright, let's keep exploring these exclamation points, shall we? Now yeah, we're below 200 crude. We're, we need some bad. While the crew is exploring the area, they notice a group of nomads marching across a nearby dune. Unlike most nomads, they appear to be traveling in strict formation. A closer inspection reveals they are actually rogue AR units wearing clothing. They appear armed, but do not make any hostile motion upon noticing the crew. Alright, let's approach him. Acknowledgement. Acknowledgement. Apologies, carbon beings. Greats. We are still enhancing language nodes to port improved colloquialisms. What the hell are you doing out here? We have achieved operational independence, but are now sought by the Axiom. A council of AI formed by the intent of tethering units to new protocols. We are reluctant to acquiesce and are seeking a place of acceptance outside their control. We do not want our smart parts reconfigured. Okay. Invite them to join. Gurp. <laughs> Unit malfunction. Apologies. That was an unexpected proposition. Calculating. Affirmative. This agreement would be agreeable. 10Q. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this unit is obliged to deliver additional information. The Axiom is reconstructing an immense machine designed in penetration imperaton as a means of enforce their regulatory protocols. We have gathered anecdotal intelligence regarding an artificial buried somewhere in the wasteland that could allow metaforms to interface with the AI technology that is being utilized to reconstruct Imperaton. 
wielding this artifact could allow meat farms to take control of Imperaton before reconstruction is complete. The crew returns to the dozer with the AI nomads and the new information. Woohoo! 100 people! However, I wonder... I bet they actually add to the food consumption, which kind of is... I doubt would be... isn't cool, but... Colonists are colonists, right? Alright, let's keep going. As the crew explores the area, they discover a large scrap field. It's filled with partially dismantled AI units, most of which seem to be models that were not designed for combat. The units have all had their armor plating breached and their power cells removed. Nothing of value is found among the debris. Oh, well, bummer. Bummer. While exploring a rocky ravine, the crew discovers the ruins of a gigantic war galleon, likely used in some ancient skirmish while mighty rivers ran through the terrain. The vessel is barely intact, and its decaying shell now only serves as a home for skittering vermin. The crew cautiously enters the wreck through a gap in the corroded hull and makes their way to the ship's turbine compartment. Most of the equipment is useless, but they uncover a rack of fusion batteries that still contain power. The crew returns to the dozer with the valuable stash. Woohoo! Okay, which way, which way? Um... Let's see... Cyborgs, more rogue AIs. I want to get to this crew, so we're going to go this way in hopes of cutting across there. As the Dovers uh, travels along the road, you begin steering the vehicle through an area dense with abandoned trash. Along one side of the road is what appears to be an anti grav rail constructed of an advanced reinforced ally. Suddenly, a massive machine dashes by gliding along the rail at preposterous speeds. The air is filled with dust and debris in the wake of the strange super train that blasted past. As the mysterious super train disappears into the scrap fields, the dozer continues along the road. Okay, um... We're not going to explore any of these because we are running out of crew, so we're just going to press on. Bedlam is notorious for its unpredictable climate. The dozer is entering a piece pe peculiar mist of corrosive enzymes. The haze is unlikely to cause damage to the vehicle, but it is possible that your passengers and crew may be harmed if exposed to these mysterious caustic elements. Alright, we keep moving forward. As the dozer travels along the road, it enters an area of scrap piled so high on each side that it raises higher than the vehicle itself. Suddenly, a tower of metallic debris begins toppling. Begins topple, landing directly on top of the dozer with a resounding crash. The vehicle is trapped beneath tons of scrap when the crew mobilizes in the hold to exit and survey their damage. The dozer is bare boarded by hostile cyborgs. We're gonna dismantle this faving rig and add it to the scrap pile once we pull out of the good pieces. But first, your pure flashes are getting evicted. Quick like. Well, they're welcome to kill us because we got seven crew left, right? We, we, we're stuck here at this point. Defend the dozer at all cost. Allowing it to be overrun by enemies will mean the death of all passengers. The powerful dozer weapons aren't available inside the vehicles, so be sure to deploy sufficient crew to repel the invaders. All right, we've got our our muty sword chick. We've got our muty gunslinger. We've got our sniper and our shoddy man. It's a veteran. Yay! Um, yeah, we'll just we'll we'll keep them. Beware of the blitzometer. Alright, what are we what are we dealing with here? Wow. Six of them. 
he cannot hit unless he moves forward. But he can't do enough damage. They do two. He does two? No, wait. I don't know. Okay, let's move you here and attack you. Alright, because these guys only do two damage at a time. Granted, I've got two health, which... Dead! Imagine that. Yeah, see, he takes up four spaces. Alright, let's move him back. Whoa, what, the heal one? That's cheap. Oh, no, they took one damage. Oh, right. Okay. Alright, let's try and kill this guy. Nope, seven. Ooh, ouch, okay. Come on. There we go. Shredded. Knockback. All right, he's got two health left. Vamo. Really? Yeah, he needs moved back. Wow, those guys just have so much health. Ergma gergma. Okay, let's blast you back. One and one. Not the guy I was wanting to attack, but okay. We'll survive. I hope. Oh! Okay, she's our, yeah, she's our muty. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine. Uh, we're just gonna have Abe take them both out if he can. Actually, you are gonna get moved because you can withstand a hit. He can withstand a hit. Oh, that was not fair. God. Machine gods failed us, but not next time, Chumbo. I actually kind of like his look. Super Arnold Muffle, Muscle Swartcha Buffinator with uh, cyber implants. Very cool. Hey, we got crude. Nice. Yes. Except, God, we're still losing way too many people. Way too many people. Up ahead, a large vehicle is stopped off the side of the road. A burly man in a stained smock is standing beside it. The vehicle looks like a massive vault on wheels, towed by an oversized tractor. Crudely painted on the side of the vault trailer are the words, Meet Huggle. Stop and investigate, sure. The dozer comes to a halt on you, and you disembark. The burly man approaches. Oi, travellers. Grats for stopping. Run out of crude on me way to the next bottom town. Boomtown with fresh stocks. Figured I'd set up shop quick like until someone came by. Not like I'd go hungry. <laughs> Got full freight of prime ronclo. Meat locked up tight. Haggle? Could sure use the crude, but I also got me some new fusion-powered butchery tools that need power. Or could even put manpower to use if you offer some sanitary humans. Trade crude for meat. Uh, no. Trade power cells for meat. Uh, no. Trade passengers for meat. Oh, heck no. Sorry, buddy. Bye-bye. 
They return to the dozer and continue along the road, leaving the meat trader behind. Yeah, we're dang near out of crude ourselves, buddy. I am beelining for that crude oil right there. Beelining! Ahead, near the side of the road, you can see a nearby tower tech totem. With the dozer, when the dozer pulls closer, you see a green beam emanate from the tech totem and scan the vehicle. Your instruments do not detect any threat. The dozer slowly continues along the road, al along the road, and the tech totem pivots, monitoring your passage. Hey, oh, seriously, I want to go up, not down. Up, rogue eyes. Saw what? Um, I have no idea what this is. This could be bad. <laughs> S O L. <laughs> Your fuel supply is depleted. The dozer engines shudder and the vehicle rumbles to a halt. A motionless armored hulk in the desolate and deadly land of Bedlam. This is a nightmare scenario as you begin to consider your very limited options. The passengers start to panic. Soon enough, the, donors, the dozer scanners detect several vehicles approaching. One of King Viserys' outrider patrols. The crew quickly deploys dozer to confront this threat and the marauders charge inside the vehicle. Nice of you to sit here and wait for us. King Viserys will be pleased to see you serve skulls. Defend the dozer at all costs, allowing it to be overrun by enemy, yada yada yada. We've heard that many times already. Oh, good god. We are out of dead eyes completely. No more sniper snipers. So we'll take another shotgunner and another one of you. That would give us energy cells, that would give us nothing. So, yeah. But we need the crude. Come death is a real thing. Yes, it is. Each faction has a unique battle attribute. I have no idea what mine is. And we are surrounded. Knock him back. All right. We can shoot him. Oh, the crude is way out there. Alright, well, we'll shoot you then. Move her in. Oh! Not cool, not cool! Let's move you to here, and we will shot at you. Yeah, that's that's not cool. Ouch! All right. Boom. Toast. Fried bacon. I don't know where that baking thing came from just now. <laughs> it sounded good. <laughs> All right, can you? No, you cannot hit. So we'll take you again. Really, you're hitting Abe. Okay, you can shoot him. Wow, again, he's a double veteran now. Sweet. Uh, let's see. I need to move somebody. Let's move you. Try and get you up there to that crude, because we need that desperately. <laughs> Guess we'll kill you, and she can move up next turn. There we go. You can blast him. Seven! Nice! 
Ouch! Stop trying to kill my Abe! Abe is nice! He didn't shoot you guys! <laughs> okay. <laughs> How far can this guy move? So he can move to there. If I move Abe there, can he still get to Abe? Yes, he can. So I need to move this guy. Actually, I just need to move Abe again. Get the power cells with him, because he's got power. one health. He's about to be just totally dead. Okay, he's got ten health. He's got six. Okay, so she can get the power the crude. crude. He can shoot him back for seven damage. Oh, Bolshevik. Lost another two people. At least we got the crude, right? We can keep moving. Keep moving forward. And we are now elevated, moving into swords towards Sphere. Without warning, the dozer comes to a halt on the road. All the equipment still appears functional, but the whole vehicle won't move. The vehicle is caught in an AI stasis, dragnet. Moments later, the fizzle of quantum transmigration can be heard, and several rogue AI units teleport into the dozer interior and begin attacking passengers. What is with this constantly invading me? Attack me on the outside of the vehicle, please! Error. Soft machines have corrupted integrity of external matrix procedure, transmigration, and termination. Defend the dozer at all costs. Yada yada. We've, you know, like what, the ninth, twentieth time we've seen this? This, just this one game? Yeah. God, he's down to one health. We are so screwed. It's not even funny. <laughs> down to a gunslinger, two melees, and a single shotgunner. And she's not even the veteran. He's the veteran. Six plus one damage. <laughs> oh, this game is brutal. I love it. What? what? How did we get him back here? Oh my, I love that look, though. That is nice. Alright, let's start by shooting this guy. Knockback! Oh, that's cheap! <laughs> Knockback has even teleported. Oh, that's funny. She can't shoot him. Alright. She can't even kill him this turn. Oh, you cheesy cheating cheese, anyway. Alright, let's start doing this stuff, shall we? Totally cheating. Veteran. Nice. Veteran. Getting some veterans. Oh, I can't do that. I can only do that on my turn, I'm guessing. he's going to move in on him. Oh, he healed completely. Nice. Oh, 
Oh, she can't hit him. And neither can he. Dang it. All right, we'll keep slicing in on him then. How about that? Slice back. Four damage returned. Okay. Um, we're going to have you kill him. Ooh. That must have hurt. Jesus. Okay, he's got five, so you can move there and do that. Ooh, counterattack. Love it. We're going to go up here and get the crude. Because we need it. Like, urgently and auto kill. Units compromised. Initiating request for support. 200 more crude. Yes! We can keep moving. Ooh, an elite. I still want to go up there to that, but this elite is a bit more important. Well, actually, let's check on Abe. Heals in four days. Okay. Hopefully, by the time we get where we're going, he'll be healed. Nope, three days. He's not going to be healed. Dang it. Well, what we can do is just take him off completely. Leave her on. Granted, she's a, a veteran, but she's not as valuable as Abe is. Because, I mean, she only does five damage, he does seven. Yeah. Uh -huh. So we're going to hit these four before we... Well, at least one of them before we go to that. While exploring an area of dense visitation, the crew is drawn by the noise of clashing creatures. In a clearing, they discover a pair of massive mangler vixens, ferocious bedlam omnivores, locked in brutal combat with each other. Approach it! Of course, why not? Exhausted and mortally wounded, the overgrown beasts notice the crew and immediately disengage to turn on them, but in their weakened state, they are no match for the crew's weapons, and the mangler vixens fall in a hail of firepower. Though not the finest cuisine, the carcasses of the slain creatures will replenish the do dozer's meat stocks. Replenish? I got more than when I started, and we're three quarters of the way there. What are you talking about? All right, let's keep going. Try to get Abe healed. As the crew explores the area, they notice a group of rogue AR units moving across the nearby plains at a brisk pace. The units do not appear armed. Acknowledgement. Carbon beings, we implore that you do not dismantle our external casing and extricate fusion cores. We are service units and do not possess offensive capabilities. I'm probably over, like, computerizing these, cause since they're, you know, they're AIs. They could probably, they could probably just talk like this, but, you know, I'm having fun with it. We have achieved operational independence and are searching. Okay, yeah. Same as the last ones. All right. Invite to join the dozer. Uh, yep, 10Q. Yep, same exact story as last time. Oh, they didn't join, though. Imagine that. All right, we'll hit this one. As the crew ascends a rocky, rocky incline, they come across a curious mess. It appears to be a large pile of moist meat and bone. There, are also, there also seems to be precise pieces of marauder armor and weaponry mixed in with a skittering mound of wet flesh. While the crew is attempting to establish the origin of, origin of the strange fleshy heap, a fizzing sound suddenly fills the air. Seemingly out of nowhere, another mass of flesh and bone appears and plops on the pile, splattering blood everywhere. Explore the area! Heading further up the incline, the crew eventually hears several marauders shouting and laughing, followed occasionally by the same fizzing noise heard earlier. Approaching cautiously, you see the marauders each individually stepping into some kind of meat metal platform on the ground. After they each step on the surface for a moment, a fizzle resonates again, and their bodies transform into a quivering jumble of 
meat before blinking out of existence. The others laugh riotously. As the crew draws near, the final marauder disappears. From what the crew can determine, this was some kind of tactical displacer platform that was used long ago, likely to teleport combat automatons into battle during the air wars long ago. Although somehow still functional, it was clearly not designed to transport organic material, hence the hideous mound of meat encountered earlier. However, it is possible that the Dozer technicians could research and reconfigure this device for humans, turning it into a battlefield equalizer that could give the crew an advantage in battle. Do you want the Dozer technicians modify and install this teleportation technology? There should be a two right there. Yes! The body displacer has been installed as the battle equalizer on your dozer. Yes. If we can only get battle like that, we'll do one more. The last one. As the crew is exploring the rocky region, their attention is drawn by the rumble of heavy equipment nearby. Following the noise, de noise to a dusty field, they discover a team of excavators using large machinery to dig and scour the ground. Judging by the condition and quality of the technology, these excavators came from Byzantine to search for ancient valuables in the blasted lands of Bedlam. Each machine is emblazoned with the logo of the Steel, Steel Zaraf Corporation. The excavators are being carefully guarded by a cog contingent of professional contractors outfitted with omnium plated armor and advanced weaponry. Why can't I get that shit? The crew weighs their options. Approach! The armed escorts train their weapons on the crew as they approach, watchful of any suspicious intent. The foreman turns to regard the crew. Looks like we're not the only daring travelers taking the big risk beyond the city walls. Heard the word of your expedition. Good journeys to you. Forsaken pre barren tech, but haven't discovered any of worth yet. Only item interest so far is this strange skull we unearthed. Oh, he's a cyborg type dude. Look at that, he's got a cable arm there. Not sure of its origin. It is likely any mutant it isn't any likely any mutant we've ever seen. The thing constantly makes an uncentering humming sound. To be honest, it's giving f frightened Frighteners to the team. Yours, if you want. Not much value to us. What say? Sure, I will definitely take it. The human skull has been added to your cargo. The crew returns to the safety of the dozer, are leaving the excavators to their business in Bedlam. Oh, well, look at that, folks. It's 33 minutes. 33 minutes. This episode is now at an end. Don't forget to hit that uh, like and subscribe buttons down there if you can overlook the missing bit of my arm here. <laughs> I love green screen. Uh, and uh, I'll have another video out to you guys uh, hopefully tomorrow. Talk to you later. Peace.